Okay, so um, on problem number six here, um, this is a, another power for point problem, um, and we need to go through and, and find out what these different segments are. So let's start by filling in our values. So we know that EF is 8, EI is 4, um, we know MB is 4, and HM is 5. Um, and when you're doing power for point, you're looking for you know different equations that uh, allow you to solve things. Um, and we know that if you've got a point outside a circle like E, um, then we have one set of equations, one with the tangent line there at 8, and then one with uh, the EI, which is 4. Um, and then the M, you know, that's the easier one where you just would do 4 times 5, but we don't know, you know, we could call this X, but we don't know what ML is, or nor do we know what the diameter is. However, um, if we look at EF, we can say EF squared is equal to EI, which is 4, because that's the distance from E to the circle, times E to the other side of the circle, and if we let the part that we don't know be I, IJ be X, or let's say Y, then it would be 4 plus Y. And now we can go through and solve this because we can say 64 equals 16 plus 4y. And then we go in and subtract 16, and you get 48 equals 4y, so y equals 12. And y equals 12 means that that diameter is 12, which means this radius is 6, and aj, so our first thing we find is aj is 6. We can also find eb in a similar way in that we could say h squared equals, well this time with eb is what we don't know, so it's going to be x times, and then it's going to be x plus 9. This is going to give us a, a quadratic equation, x squared plus 9x equals 64, if I reverse a side, so if I subtract 64 I get x squared plus 9x minus 64 equals 0. Now unfortunately this does not factor nicely, so we've got to do the um, uh, quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is a negative b, so negative 9. We only have to do plus because the negative, the minus, would give us a negative value for eb, for, for uh, what we've called x. Um, so we're referring to this as x. Let's erase this as x there. Um, and so eb is, can't be negative, and so it has to be positive, so we know we only have to look at the positive one. And so it's going to be b squared, which is 81, minus 4, times 1 times negative 64 all over 2a which is just 2 and that equals negative 9 plus well 256 plus 81 turns out to be 337 all over 2 well there's only um, there's nothing no perfect squares that go into 337 so you're actually simplified as 2 negative 9 plus square root of 337 all over 2 and again, it wouldn't be minus 330, square root of 337, because that would give you a negative value, which isn't possible. Last thing is to find Km, and so we'll call this one um, now um, Z. And we, the, that is now useful because Kl is a diameter, and we just found out the diameter is um, 12, and so we could call Lm 12 minus Z. And so that means we're going to have um, Z times 12 minus Z equals 4 times 5, which is 20. And we've ran out of some space here. Um, so we'll, we'll do it over in this section. Um, and that'll give us um, 12z minus z squared equals 20. And so z squared minus 12z equal plus 20. If we factor that, that's going to give us z minus 10 z minus 2, and so z is either going to equal 10 or 2, but z has to be 2 because 10 would be um, larger than the radius, and km is, not, is shorter than a radius, so km has to be 2. And so now you are done.